This is Nevin again with Discount. We're back here with season eight and we're gonna do something really, really awesome with Albuquerque seasoning. So don't you dare go away. Welcome back. Here we are with another guest chef. You guys have seen it many, many times. Kirk with Albuquerque Seasonings. Welcome back, brother. Thank you for having me, Nevin. Right on. We're going to cook something different on the disc today, huh? Yeah, today we're going to make a beefy beef stroganoff. Beefy beef stroganoff. Yes. <laughs> on the disc. On the disc. Oh, I got to learn this one, man. <laughs> How do you do it? Well, we're going to start with um, a whole bunch of portobello mushrooms. You like portobello I mushrooms? I love portobello mushrooms. You're going to turn that on? We've started And light this thing up here. Boom. Always push that knob in, slowly uh, rotate to the left, boom, you got ignition. Let's melt our butter first. Mo butter, mo better. <laughs> if you like mushrooms, you're going to love this dish. Nice. So you're just going to let the butter all melt down and then yeah, add it? We're going to let the butter melt down, we're going to cook the uh, mushrooms down, and mm. then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Now those are pretty big cuts, huh? What, but what size are those portobellos when you start? Uh, they live about the size of a big hamburger patty. Ooh, hamburger patty. <laughs> <laughs> I and guess you, you could make a portobello hamburger yeah? if you wanted to. Yeah, I guess so. If you're into that thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you add any of your seasoning to... Uh, yeah, we seasoned the meat with our casa seasoning. The casa seasoning is like a peppery steak seasoning. It's also got some salt and garlic in it. It's a really great all-purpose seasoning. And we're going to put it in the in the mix as we cook it to keep nice. seasoning. Nice. So what, we're going to use your casa and what else? Uh, just the casa seasoning. Nice. And that's salt, pepper, garlic mix, all kind uh, of yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's got a little bit of lemon oil to kind of brighten up the flavor. That's kind of stuff I've got to keep in my trucks or anywhere we're ready to cook. <laughs> Instead right. of having all kinds of different things, hook it up with Kirk stuff. So well, I know you like the green chili, but I, I got to <laughs> show some love to my other products. <laughs> Got some portobello mushrooms, got some melted butter on the biscuit. That's about half a stick of butter, but uh, you know, the recipe you posted on the site so you can follow it. And you can find it on this recipe on your site or your blog? Yeah, it's on my blog. Uh, my blog is albuquerque.com, or that's, you can also find it by going to my website, albuquerqueseasonings.com. And that's Albuquerque, K A R K Y, is the spin on Albuquerque, right? Right. Nice. So, I guess, how long is this going to take to go ahead and, and simmer uh, down in the butter? It's going to take at least uh, maybe five, almost ten minutes to cook down. They're pretty big. they got a lot of moisture in them. And we want to cook them down really hard so they really cook down small. And that's what's really great about the disc. It gets really hot and you can cook these down really fast. Nice. Well, while that's cooking here, I'm going to go ahead and grab my lid it. And let's go ahead and feature this week's featured business. Hey, everybody. I'm Kirk Moncrief. I'm the owner and creator of Albuquerque Seasonings. If you're interested in trying some of my products, this is our green chili rub. This is actually Nevin's favorite rub. He's always hitting me up for this. So if you'd like to find some, you can get on my website, albuquerqueseasonings.com. That's spelled A-L-B-U-K-I-R-K-Y seasonings.com. You also, you can reach me on my, on phone, on my mobile at 505-321-1769. And don't forget to check out my blog at albuquerque.com. Once again, that's albuquerque, A-L-B-U-K-I-R-K-Y. So now we got a chance to see this week's featured business. Kirk's got these portobello mushrooms and a little bit of butter. We got the lid it. Let's see, you think these are about... I think they're about ready. Oh yeah, look at the... You see that for this get yeah. full and now we cooked them down. That cooked down quick we too. To concentrate the flavors. Now we're going to add some of our casa seasoning to it. And this is the one that has your special blend with some salt, peppers, garlic, yeah. some lime or something. A little bit of lemon oil. Oh, lemon oil. It's a really great all-purpose seasoning. I use it on my steaks all the time, but, you know, Cheryl and I use it all the time when we're cooking. <laughs> we just keep it by the stove. We actually keep it on the table and season our food with it. I need to keep one of those in my truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you this got here? This is some uh, flank steak that I've cut. And uh, if you're cooking with a flank steak, be sure to cut it across the grain or you won't be able to eat it. Uh, it is a kind of a lean steak, but it is a very good flavorful steak. And of course, I've been letting it marinating in some of the casa seasoning as well. So nice. I'm going to add this to the, to the portobello mushrooms. Now, would you cut about two pounds there or something? Uh, it's about, yeah, it's almost two pounds. And you had about, gosh, that has to be a good, that was how many uh, quarts? Um, the portobello mushrooms, that was six full-size portobello mushrooms. Oh, wow. And then we got about a pound and a half of beef. You know, I want these to be really easy stroganoff, so. And you always cut across the grain. Cut across the grain. Add lots of your seasoning. through it. 
I don't want to do too much seasoning. Just enough seasoning to make it make it taste good. Now, are you going to cook this well, medium rare? Uh, by the time we're done, it's going to be well because there's a lot of you know there's a lot of the cooking that goes on. But this cut of meat is fine to cook well. Okay, and that's just a beef. It's just well, it steak. better be it's beef stroganoff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're not using pork for beef stroganoff. Yeah, you can substitute <laughs> other cuts of meat like uh, you can use a flat iron. You can use sirloin. Whatever steak you'd like to use, you can use. I just prefer to use some flank steak. Nice. Well, while you're cooking up your flank steak, we're going to go ahead and we're going to feature this, this week's Spotlight Disket. This week's Spotlight Disket is actually a unique one. And no, you probably can't buy it from me because we featured Albuquerque seasonings built into the legs of this disket. So if you can see in, in the image below, we've got Albuquerque in one leg, seasonings on the other. The, the handle say Albuquerque with the spin on Albuquerque seasonings. So keep in mind that although this is a very particular Custom disc and grill, you can choose from many hundreds and hundreds of disc and designs by checking out the pattern sections of our website. What kind of disc are you going to order? So now you got a chance to see this week's Spotlight Disc it featuring the Albuquerque Seasonings deal. Kirk's got some, some beef, some flank steak, yeah, flank and some steak. portobello mushrooms, and butter. Butter. And costa seasoning. And costa, don't forget the seasoning. Look at that. So we got the disc lid. This sure helps make everything steam up real fast and cook down those mushrooms faster. It does cook it? a lot faster with the lid. I was making this at home last night and I didn't use my lid. Uh oh. It took a little longer. <laughs> but see, now we got a lot more juice. Nice. Uh, more flavor. Uh, now we're going to add some onions, some Ooh, green onions, onions chopped. I love onions. And cheese and pepper. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to stir those in and let them cook a minute or two. Man, that smells so good. Let me see. Let me try a mushroom here. Mm, 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 mm. You know, as a kid, I didn't used to like mushrooms. Boy, did I miss out. I don't like them that much either, but... No, I love them now. This is dish I like now. What is this? This is just uh, like two tablespoons of flour. We're going to put this in here. Uh, just a wheat flour? Just a regular white all-purpose flour. Okay. We're going to put this in to coat the meat and to coat the bottom of the skillet. Probably thickens it a little bit too, doesn't it? Yeah, it thickens it, and then we're, I'll show you what we're going to do here in a minute once this cooks up. So you want to cook it, stir in all the flour. Be sure it coats the meat good. Nice. Ah, it smells good. So you're going to cook this at the Roundup this year? No, I'm working on another recipe. Uh-oh. This might Kirk be a little expensive to cook. <laughs> you're only going to feed a couple thousand people, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're coating that thing real quick. i got to take one second. We're going to get into this week's Ask Never Anything section of this episode. So this week's Ask Never Anything section of this episode, people are emailing and calling, when is the Disky Roundup? Well, we're only 60 days out. We got the sixth annual Disky Roundup. Kirk's been with us for it. We've had tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars raised all going to UNM Children's Hospital. So if you want to find out how you can be a cook and help raise some money, bring your disc, bring your food, and have lots and lots of fun. It's going to be September 27th at Isleta Host uh, Resort, Hotel Resort and Casino. So it's 60 days out. Let's raise some money. Thanks for those questions. So now we got a chance to get into this week's question, answering that about the Disky Roundup coming up. We're back at it. Kirk's got his uh, flank steak. He's got his portobello mushrooms. You got your green onions. You had your started off with mobeta mobeta. Butter, yeah. <laughs> and you just added some green onions. Now what? Uh, well, we floured the the meat, and you can see on the bottom here we're kind of getting like a char, like it's sticking to the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. And you want that. You want that. That's like flavor building up on your dish. Nice. So now we're going to take some beef broth. This is about a, a two cups of beef broth. I'm going to put that in and deglaze the pan. <laughs> deglaze the pan. Deglaze the pan. Deglaze the so disc. You, so you, the, the disc, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to stir around and let it let the broth kind of pull off all that flour and meat flavor mm -hmm. that's cooked to the bottom. Wow. How long have you been doing this? Cooking? Or no, cooking well, this particular this recipe. This recipe? Uh, I made it about a year ago. I saw it on Food Network and uh, I... I they made it without meat, so I had to put meat in it. How do you have beef soaking off without beef? He just put mushrooms in it. I don't know. Was it mush <laughs> mushroom soaking off? It was just mushroom <laughs> soaking off. He said you wouldn't miss the meat, but I'd miss the meat. So I've made this a couple times. Uh, we're popular with Cheryl. She loves mushrooms, so it's. A did really she make some fresh bread with this when she did it? Not yet, but she will next time. <laughs> <laughs> She's only started the bread thing recently. I love bread. So we're going to let and that simmer cheese. down and, and kind of let some of this beef broth cook off a little bit. Okay. Should I put the lid on it or leave it so it simmers without uh, the lid? Let's leave the lid off so we can okay. pour that to cook off. 
Nice. So now Kirk's got this, uh, what'd you call it? Just thin it, uh, you seasoned it down, or what'd you call it? Uh, we thickened it up with we some flour. Thickened it up with flour, okay. So mm -hmm. you can see it's kind of made like a little gravy mm -hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're gonna add uh, some sour cream. Ooh, don't tell the little Nevin that. He loves sour cream. What do you put the sour cream for? Just for flavor, or is it just is it uh, texture? It kind of makes the, the creamy sauce. Oh, okay. And this is uh, this is kind of the secret ingredient. Uh, it's goat cheese. Wow. It kind of adds a, a, tang, a more of a tang to it. It um, that's a little more flavor to it than just the sour cream. It's really <laughs> good. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Well, I love cheese. We'll see how we like this goat and cheese then, here. Uh, we'll throw a little more seasoning on it. And this is the cost of seasoning, right? Yeah, the cost of seasoning. If I hold it right. Don't be shy. <laughs> and then. Uh, then we're just going to stir it up, keep stirring it until the, the goat cheese and the sour cream gets all mixed in with the meat and the, the sauce. Wow, look at that. So goat cheese, sour cream, and of course we already talked about having the beef, the, the portobello mushrooms, the butter, the casa seasoning. Now what do you do? You serve this over rice or something? Or? Um, we're going to serve it over some white egg noodles. White egg noodles. White egg noodles. Nice. You can serve it over rice, that's what you like. You could probably just eat it straight. <laughs> if you I could probably do both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. You could smell that sour cream pretty well in there too. Yeah. The only, like the goat cheese is what I'm trying to get broke up here. Oh, okay. It so the goat cheese will break up. Breaks up, melts down, and kind of mixes real, real yeah. thoroughly with all that. Nice. So as far as all your stuff, again, I know we've talked about it before, but we could find Albuquerque Seasonings at, what was the website again? Uh, AlbuquerqueSeasonings.com. Okay. And then I am here in some local stores. Uh, Keller's is one of our big stores. We've gotten into Albertsons and Sprouts, and we're adding oh, more nice. stores every week, pretty much. And of course, if you can fight me for the green chili rub, we usually have some of that around the office there at the at Discuit. Man, look at that. It smells so good. And we're coming out with a new uh, jumbo bottle of green chili rub just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I need like a 55 gallon drum. You need a case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Wow. So how long do I get to eat? Because you're killing me over yeah, here, man. I think it's about ready. Here, let's go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> so I guess I had... Now these noodles, you already pre-made these and warmed them? Yeah, heat them up. Here, let's put them in a bowl. Okay. I imagine you're probably going to want a bowl too, huh? Yeah, let me see the thoughts. You mean you want some too? <laughs> Holy cow, that's a lot. Here. Do this. Switch out for that one. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So these are white egg noodles. Here we go. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's good. So we've got some beef stroganoff. Hold on. One more thing. Oh, wow. It's a little more green onion. Just for nice. more flavor. Did you grow these ones? No, I didn't grow these. But you cut them. I cut them. <laughs> Smart Alec. Like, uh, nice. Look at that color, too. So, beef stroganoff with Albuquerque seasonings on the discount. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Discount. 